Wait. I think this will pop more against the background. Oh, much better. Hello everybody, I appreciate that the background of this video is really plain and this yellow top is like blending into the background as well but I wanted to wear this top because this is the whole video and um, I bought this top, it's from Urban Outfitters it's like a two piece thing so this underneath is just like a plain tank top and then it has like a cardigan thing that goes on top you know I think I'm gonna put makeup on but before I put the makeup on one of the things I got was some brushes from Real Technique. Sam and Nick, if you're watching this, can you guys chill out on the plastic, please? Like, Anyway, if you watch my makeup videos, you'll know that I've kind of had a bit of a phobia of beauty blenders since I had one like a year ago and mold grew inside it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go and do my makeup and I'll come right back. I'm back. I actually did my whole makeup only using those brushes and the beauty blender. The only thing I wasn't able to do was contour my cheekbones, which I'm not really that big on doing anyway. And I wasn't able to do my eyebrows because I need an angled brush for that. Beauty blender, I love. Five stars. A little precise crease brush. Five stars, amazing. Great for like just a wash of color all over my eyes and also really good for my nose contour. Highlighter brush. Um, so when I put this into my highlighter, there was like so much kickback and I've never had that much kickback from my highlighter before, but application was really good, so three stars. This is the Expert Face Brush, so it's used for like cream and liquid face products. And I use the Beauty Blender to blend some of my concealer, and then I use this to blend some other parts of my concealer, and I really, really liked how this blended. Five stars. This is the blush brush, it's the biggest brush in the collection. I think it applied the blush really well, like nice and light, so you can build it up to your desired level. But I think I like my other one better, it's a bit more dense, and so more blush goes on. Normally I'm always going for like a heavy blush look, so four stars. Okay, so I have two things that I got on Depop and they're actually still on the websites for the places that they're from. So this is the one shoulder top from ASOS, but I got it on Depop for I think like eight pounds. Kind of expensive for Depop in my opinion, but the Depop fees are extortionate, okay? Anyway, yeah, so this is really nice. I posted a picture of it on my Instagram if you wanna see. If you saw my results video, I talked in that video about how when sometimes things arrive, they have like a jarring smell. This definitely has a weird jarring smell. I've sprayed it with perfume like four times and it still smells weird to me, but it's this belt originally from Mango. It's got like a completely adjustable waist so you can adjust it to be really, really small. I mean, I don't know whose waist is this small. It's pretty small. But yeah, I think it's really cute. I think it can make a lot of the plain dresses that I own more like spicy. Okay, so these clothes are from a small boutique. I can't remember the name right now, but everything will be linked down below, so don't worry about it. So the first thing I got was this midi length cow print dress. You won't be able to see the whole thing right now, but hopefully in the cutaway you'll see the whole thing. It's got a little slit. Um, the thing I love about this dress is it just feels heavy. Like, he like clothes that feel heavy are just so good because they feel good quality and they feel luxurious. It's got a little puff sleeve detail and then it's sheared on the armband. And see, this is a dress that I think would look so cute with that belt, like this belt, oh, this belt, like on the, on the dress with some like gold hoop earrings. So the next thing I have is this green dress. It is so, so pretty. Again, it's a midi dress with a slit. Wait, I think this will pop more against the background. Oh, much better. Anyway, it's super pretty. It has tie straps, a slit. It's sheared in the back so it can like stretch to whatever your rib cage sizes. It's actually a tiny bit loose on my rib cage, but that's okay. Once the gyms reopen and I'm feeling ready to go back, which will be in like a year and a half, then I can get some back gains and really fill out the dress. But yeah, I can't wait to wear this to the park when I meet up with my friends. And the last thing I got is this top. It's the only thing I have qualms with. It's a black corset style top with like red roses on it and it's ruched, but the straps are really silky and I don't think they're gonna stay tied up. You definitely have to do like a double knot, maybe even like tie them into the correct place for yourself and then like sew them so they don't come undone. Cause yeah, they're really silky and I feel like even now as I'm holding them, they're kind of undoing themselves. You're not gonna be able to see this very well, but I also got a necklace. It's kind of like a short, choker length necklace but I mean like you can adjust it to like whatever length you want like that's the longest length and then like you can go full full choker mode but yeah it's made of little like hearts that are interlocked with each other and I have a heart necklace and I think this would look so cute if it's all like layered together hmm should I put this on right now 
So I got some reusable masks from Etsy. They're still in the bag because I haven't been out to wear them yet. Let's do a try on right now. They were really affordable. They're the ones with the um, like stretchy sideband thing and they have a nose wire built in so you can like pinch it around your nose. I don't know if the audio is gonna be really bad when I speak with this on, but it looks really good, I think. It's a little bit big for my face. Like there's some space under here, but that's not really a problem. It's got like my nose covered, my mouth covered, so pretty good. So I got a lot of books. I think I actually got this one just before quarantine started. This is called The Train Was On Time. I mentioned it in another one of my studying videos, but it's a really good read. It's super short. I found it really interesting. It's about a German soldier who's on the train to go to the front lines and he's just contemplating about how he's going to die soon. Yeah, just some really interesting thoughts in this book. I bought this from the charity bookshop in Notting Hill in about the beginning of March, I think. I got these next three books from Waterstones. This one is called Prisoners of Geography. I've actually read this one. I found it really interesting. It was hard to get into at first. I feel like the first chapter on Russia is like kind of slow, but then it really picks up like in the middle. I really enjoyed it. This is a book on geopolitics about how geography impacts world events, politics, ideas, movements, things like that. And it has a chapter on each kind of part of the world. So there's one on like Europe, North America, South America, Russia, China, etc. This one is called Why We Sleep. I haven't read it yet, but it was recommended to me and I'm really excited to try it. This one is called How to Win Friends and Influence People. I initially bought this for my spring week, which I mentioned in like every video, but um, yeah, I initially bought this for my spring week because for any of you guys who have done a spring week or know like what happens at a spring week, it basically entails a lot of schmoozing with people in the company. You want them to like you, you want them to remember you. So when you apply for a summer internship, some six months later, they remember who you are and when they see you at the interview, they're really like happy and excited and basically just want to offer you the internship immediately. Okay, so these three books are from an online bookstore called World of Books. It's an amazing bookstore because they sell secondhand books online. This book is called Chaos Monkeys. It's about the culture and life and working in Silicon Valley. I really feel like all tech companies are heading towards the kind of culture in Silicon Valley. So hopefully I'll be working at a tech company when I graduate. So but I was really excited to learn about this. I haven't read this one yet, but I am currently reading this book called Brotopia. It's about women in Silicon Valley and the author is Emily Chang, host of Bloomberg Technology. So she's kind of talking about her experiences, people she's interviewed. One of the things I thought was most interesting that I've read so far is about how initially coding was a job for women because it involved typing. And so around the 40s and 50s, a lot of software engineers were women. And the last book is called Young Money. I think I saw someone recommend this on Instagram. It's about young people who get roped into jobs in finance and Wall Street. Okay, and the last thing is from this company called Day. I kept it in the box because the box is so cute. So essentially Day is a tampon company. They make their tampons with organic cotton and they make CBD infused tampons, which help with cramps. They are also selling these masks and 100% of the profits from these masks. This sounds sponsored. Day, if you want to sponsor me, please sponsor me. I love your product. Okay, okay, I love the idea of your product. I haven't actually tried it yet. But 100% of the profits from these masks are donated to domestic abuse charities, such as Women's Aid and Latin America's Women's Aid. And so far, I think they've raised over 2,000 pounds from selling these masks, which is so great. And of course, let me do a try on. Okay, this one fits my face so much better than the other ones. Like, it's really snug on my chin, and I feel like my face is really covered well. Mm, amazing, thank you. They also send me all these really sweet informational postcards, which is so nice. One of the cool things about their product is that the wrapper is water soluble, so you can put the wrapper in the toilet and it will just dissolve and it doesn't release any harmful toxins into like the sewage system, so that's really, really good. They send you a lot of tampons, like, oh my goodness, wait, I don't know if you can see, right? Like, there's this many. And then there's some in the box as well. I ordered around 17 tampons, which is enough for a whole period cycle. I think they cost seven pounds and the delivery was free. I will let you know how the CBD infused tampons go with the cramps and stuff and I'll let you know if they're good. Okay, so that is all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for anything else you want to see. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. I make videos on like lifestyle, university, pretty much anything I'm interested in, I make videos about. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> if you're still watching at this point, I love you.